What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to create your first Google AdWords campaign inside of the new editor. So Google is now changing from their version 1 to version 2, and the old version will soon no longer be usable at all. And I have received numerous requests to update my videos to match that change. And so here I am doing just that. So let's get started. When you log into your new AdWords account, Interface 2, this is roughly the layout you should see. Let's go to our Campaigns tab on the left here and click on this plus sign and let's say New Campaign. So over here, there's a bunch of different campaigns, all pretty self-explanatory. For this video, I will go with a search network campaign. Let's go with website traffic and let's enter our business website. So let's just say WordPress.com for the purpose of this video. Continue. First thing we have to do is go with our campaign name. So make it something easy because when you have a bunch of different campaigns, you need to be able to refer to them quickly. So I named it WordPress. Uh, search network. So if you can check mark and uncheck mark this next, uh, this will basically show your ads to a bunch of Google search partners as well, search systems like Google, uh, and your ads will be shown to more people. So for me personally, I do have a check marked. It's it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but for the display network, what this does is this shows your ads to a collection of more than two million websites, videos, on apps. You do not have as much control here as you would with the search network. So for this one, I would generally say no, unless I'm just trying to reach more people without necessarily selling. So that's basically what that is. And if you have any questions about any of these, feel free to ask in the comments below or click on this little help sign here. That should give you more information. So the next thing we're changing is the location. Um, of course, you can select all countries. You can select the country you're in right now, or you can enter a location or location. So you could say Canada, and then you can add, you know, United States, and then you can just add a collection of what you want and you can either target or exclude if you want everything except for example a particular country so let's just leave it at that for now of course the next part you select the language um, bidding so the way bidding words works is um, you are not the only person bidding on the particular keywords and wanting your ads to show there are competitors of yours that are bidding on the same thing so the way google determines who to show the ads to to whose customers they want to show the ads to there's a system called bidding so if you are uh, giving five dollars if your bid is five dollars per keyword and someone else is a six chances are that that person will have their ads shown more likely of course there's other factors involved such as the quality score but for now let's just focus on this bidding so let's just say we're going with manual cost per click these ones um, be are better used if you have some sort of conversion metric already in place which we won't cover in this video but I have covered in my previous videos check that out above I'll put it in the, in the playlist if you want to um, so that's manual CPC, which means we will manually put in our keyword bids. If you say enable enhanced CPC, what this will do, you can check mark or uncheck mark, is Google will automatically adjust your bids based on your competitors. So if your bid is $5 and the competitors is $6, Google could raise your bid to $6.01 in order for you to get the click. That's how this works. So depending on your budget, you may or may not want to select this. I will leave it off for now. So this is your budget for the day. Let's go with um, let's go with maybe five dollars, but you can always change this later on. You can increase or decrease. Over here, are the start and end dates. So let's say we want our ad to run only maybe for two days. So let's say we'll end it on December thirty first. Cyclic extensions, call out extensions, call extensions. I will not cover in this video, but I have already covered it in my Google playlist. Again, I'll put the link up above. Take a look at those, get an idea, and that should be more than enough for you. So let's click on save and continue. So now we get to the ad group part, which is separated based on the keywords. So let's say our default bid per keyword is, let's say, 25 cents. Okay. Oops. But zero 25 cents. And let's add in some keywords. So let's say we want to add this one. Here's the Google recommended suggestions. Um, let's just add these. Okay. And of course, we can just add all of them right away. And here it tells you the monthly searches. Um, Keep in mind that the keywords are, they do have match types. There's broad match type, which means your keywords or anything related to that keyword will show. There is phrase match type, which means as long as this keyword is in the search phrase from what the user puts in, 
your ad will show. And then there's the exact match type, which means as long as the exact keyword is input into the search term by the viewer, by the client that's about to go into your website, then your ad will show to them, okay? Um, so we can leave it at this or we can just create a new ad group. And of course, you can uh, differentiate your keywords based on these little, um, these little symbols. So quotes will make it a phrase. Uh, not putting anything will make it broad and putting square brackets will make it an exact match type. So let's just leave it at that and go save and continue. So we're pretty much done. Let's now create our ad. So the final URL, let's say wordpress.com headline one, make something up off the top of my head. Let's say trying to build a website. I like to go with old title case because it draws more attention. Trying to build a website, try out WordPress today. You can add a path, which is basically a continuation to a URL. So maybe free trial or something like that. If you have one for description, let's say maybe ultimate um, website building um, software. I mean, it's not a software, but let's just go with that. Um, try it now while it's on promotion. So there you go. We have our ad set. Let's uh, advance URL options. Don't worry about this. Again, check out the video in the link in the playlist up above if you want more information on that. But let's click on done. And we see everything here. Let's click on save and continue. And that's it. So our campaign is now ready. Let me just show you where you can actually make changes if you don't like your keywords anymore or your ads. So here's the ad group. You can go into ads and extensions to change the ad. If you click on edit here, you can just make the changes there. You can go to keywords and you can set individual bids on the keyword. So for example, if this keyword is doing well, I can set this bid to 50 cents instead of 25, et cetera, et cetera. That's why manual cost per click bidding is useful. You can control the keyword bids on each and every keyword. So start off with that, see how it goes, and then move on to other options. You can change the audience change the demographics. All this is available for you and you can make the changes here. It's self-explanatory. Everything is on the left. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. Um, this is how you create a campaign. It is now up and running, as you can see by this green little light over there. That's the overview. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as I can to any questions, concerns, uh, problems, stuff like that to help you guys out. Um, other than that, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.